So, uh, before we start the video, I would like to have a memorial for those who did not make it this year. Including, but not limited to characters like Waluigi, couldn't cheat his way in. Bomberman, was too explosive at tryouts. Knuckles, unlike Sonic, he doesn't chuckle, because he isn't playable. Crystal, cause screw the furry fandom. Lynn, she'd be a shoe in if her hair was blue instead of green. Samurai Goro, what's an F-Zero? Takamaru, wrong classic rep. Eevee, Wait, seriously, you guys wanted this one? Kumatora, demoted to Lucas's PK Starstorm. And that's about it. Now that that's done, let's talk about the totally not clones that are in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. Not only did everyone return from the Wii U roster, but literally every character in Smash history is returning. Even characters like Dark Pit and Lucina are returning, but they are given their very own special name. So what are Echo Fighters? The most basic way to describe them are the step between a costume swap and a semi-clone. An Echo Fighter is a character who is built off another similar character with slight changes to animation, appearance, and combat. So now you may say... Hey, Ryo, why isn't Dr. Mario an Echo Fighter? Or Pichu? Or Young Link? What gives? These characters are considered by the big man himself to be unique enough not to be an Echo Fighter. Sure, some characters like Young Link and Doc are extremely similar to their original counterparts, but have enough difference to be considered their own unique fighter. To better help explain this, let's take a look at Falco. Although Falco and Fox are similar fighters, Falco has a varied moveset and specials from Fox. The difference in their moveset is enough to consider Falco his own character, and this applies even more so when you compare Fox to Wolf. With Marth and Lucina, the two share an identical moveset, with only slight variations on how that moveset is performed, in this case, the tip mechanic. Well, this still sucks. The Echo Fighters are the reason why my favorite characters aren't getting in, like Goku and Zan the Skeleton. That's a common misconception. See, Echo Fighters are given that special title because Sakurai recognizes that they aren't their own unique fighters. If I had to guess, when the game was finalized and ready for polishing, Sakurai decided to make the term Echo Fighters so that they could add extremely easy to make characters quickly to make up for a lack of characters this time around. Take Daisy, for example. Daisy has been one of the most requested Mario characters since Peach's debut in Super Smash Bros. Melee. Sure, she isn't as popular as, say, Geno, Toad, Paper Mario, or The Wah, but there was enough outcry for her that Sakurai decided to make something together quickly for those fans. Echo Fighters are a way of further satisfying the masses while still being able to polish the game and further develop it. So then I suppose the next question is, who is next? Sakurai wouldn't come up with this fancy title for characters like Dark Pay and Lucina, only to add in one more and be done with it. Well, it is my opinion that we are getting two more Echo Fighters to round out the total number to a solid five characters. Who are these Echo Fighters? While well, current speculation has led people to believe that Dark Samus and Shadow are the most likely to be made into Echoes. As a fan of the Prime series in Sonic, I would disagree. Not that I don't think it is possible to make those two into Echoes, but I feel it's such wasted potential. You could make something so much more unique with Shadow, and Dark Samus' assist trophy shows how unique she can be. For me, I would consider the Octolinks and Krom to be a safe bet. Both are fairly popular characters and would be easy to make using the Inklings and Ike. Though those are my safe bet, there are plenty of other characters that could be viable for an Echo Fighter. These include Nintan, Galactonite, Funky Kong, and many, many more. In reality, Echo Fighters will probably be one of those things that nobody can predict. Though I am certain we will be seeing more leading up to Smash's release. So then does this mean that Goku and Sans have a chance? Of course not. But that's a video for another day. Until then, rip Waluigi and- Hi! Thanks for watching the video. I'd like to apologize for the inactivity on this channel lately. The reason I've been gone for two and a half weeks is because I've had school, work, and a couple of other problems coming up while I was trying to make this video. I'll try to reserve some time for videos so that I can try to keep to my schedule of uploading every weekend. Also, shoutouts to Spencer McCray and Red Sheep 1000 for making the fan art that you're seeing right now. That about does it for this video. Once again, thanks for watching, and I'll see ya!